I'm standing here in the ancient Roman city of Aquileia. And what we don't learn in school, at least not in North America, is that there were three Roman centers that were important. First Roma, then Milano, and then Aquileia. And of course, this area was built in 180 BC by the Romans as a fortification to fight against invaders from the east and from the south. In fact, they were fighting against the Istri, which we talked about in Croatia a little while ago. This cathedral behind me, or basilica, was built in 313 AD after the Edict of Milano allowed the Christian sect to have their religious freedom. And this is one of the first buildings that was erected uh, and has an almost intact uh, mosaic. In front of the basilica, there is a Roman column with the wolf statue with Romulus and Remus twins underneath it, uh, suckling from it. Uh, but interestingly, the wolf has a reptilian cast to it. Also, on the walls of this basilica are sideways brown merger symbols, which is quite fascinating because instead of reintegrating the mind, the symbolization is to split the mind so that mind control and programming are much more easily accomplished. Inside the basilica, on the top of the columns, you can clearly see the alien faces with the large slanted eyes, uh, which is very, very interesting that uh, that was shown so many years ago, uh, back almost 2,000 years ago, 1,700 years ago. So this center, this location, is more than just a fortification, more than just a basilica. This is a very big symbol symbolical area uh, that shows uh, splitting of the brain, alien information, the uh, wolf creation of uh, the Etruscans and eventually the Romans, and it also has the uh, amazing depiction of uh, what ancient history has not revealed to the Western public on true uh, Roman adventures and wars uh, with the tribes that are hardly remembered anymore, the Illyrians, the history, and the allies of the Romans, the Veneti, which became the city of Venice. It's a very, very amazing place, Aquileia. For those of you who uh, are not familiar with it, you should study uh, that city in Roman history and come and visit here the next time you happen to be in Europe. And so we will continue our adventure uh, in this part of Italy, um, near the Slovenian border, and we'll speak to you in a little bit.